All right, we are officially on the Gibb River Road. Sending in your eyes for a bit It's just past seven. First thing on our agenda is Tunnel Creek. So excited. Yeah, kind of nervous about walking with the freshwater crocs, but okay. it'll be cool. I think we'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I think when my mum did it, she said that it was up to about chest height on her, so we'll see what it's like. It looks pretty dry around, here. so I don't know how much water there'll be, but yeah. chest height is like head height for me, so it wish me luck. All right, let's have a look. <laughs> Keep going straight ahead, don't we? It's a bit of a clamber of the rocks, actually. Slippery rocks. More than I thought it was going to be. Head torch at the ready. We came prepared. I got, oh, yours is on. I got my waterproof torch. How's that? Oh, yeah, bright. Scare away any crocs. <laughs> okay, we're at the part where we have to swim now. Are you getting nervy? I was already, but more so now, yeah. It is really dark in here. Uh, no. That sign says otherwise. Yeah, but I think it'll be too cold for them. Okay, so there is crocodiles in here. Oh, I, do. I didn't think there would be. Now I am. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he is so cute though. He's only like 60 centimetres. Look. That's him. not 60. Oh my god. Oh, oh no, they're fish. Mum, don't worry. It's just a freshwater crook. They don't hurt us. Look how cute and little. Well, it can hurt actually. It can bite, but it won't kill He's me. still got teeth there, but he, no. Yeah. Make a nice wow, they're actually shot. quite sharp teeth, aren't they? Yes, yeah, right. It's a crocodile. Look at him, he's so cute and placid. They're beautiful. I want to take it home. <laughs> but we were swimming with them. Uh, well, I, I thought there weren't any in here. <laughs> oh, I thought they just said it just because. <laughs> I thought but... it was too cold and dark, but um, they're here. Yeah, I think we're helping much at the end. This is cool. And we have it all for ourselves. Months I was going to say, yeah, months <laughs> the like, crocodiles. Plus, plus the crocodiles. Oh my God. It's the perks of starting early. I actually didn't think that'd be in here. Well, <laughs> myth busted. Found our first bit of Aboriginal rock art. Apparently there's another bit. But what is it? I don't know that. We found the rest of the rock art. How'd they get up there? Shoulder art, I think. Three tier shoulder art. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Round two, and I'm more afraid this time because I know for a fact what's in there. Yeah, well, small one, but I'm might be bigger ones. As fast as I can. Well, we did it. Only the one croc. Yeah, but, I yeah. think there would have been more, but yeah. yeah. So lots of eyes, but they'll fish. Really, really cool though. It's uh, yeah deeper water than I thought it was going to be, mm -hmm. but it doesn't go for that long, and then the rest of it's just sort of ankle deep. It's just crazy that you're allowed to swim through. You're not going to the video. <laughs> that you're allowed to swim through this dark tunnel with crocodiles. Like only in WA can you do. Outrageous things. <laughs> and just the rocks are awesome. Mm. Like, um, when that sun is coming over them, so beautiful. Gorgeous. Um, but yeah, so that's the first one of the Gib done, and we are moving on to where? Mm, Leonard Creek. Leonard actually. Creek, I think. So yeah, yeah we'll uh, hit the road and get going there. It's not actually a campground, it's a bit of a day use area, but people camp here all the time. Um, so it's Dog Chain Creek, right next to Lennard Gorge. I think we've decided we're going to give Lennard Gorge a miss tomorrow. Um, just mixed reviews on whether it's worth it or not, and it's another one that we can't do with the dogs, so I think we'll give that a miss. We're going to wake up super, super early um, to do Bell Gorge in the morning, because that's going to be a bit of a bigger hike, so we'll try to get that done in the morning. Again, dogs can't come. So I have to leave them in the car with the fan on and um, try to get it all done. We'll try to start it before sunrise and um, yeah, positive is we should be the only ones there, hopefully. But absolutely stunning. Go for a dip in a second and maybe play a game or read a book.
rear angle would be looking at me, I know. But I'm underneath the car again. So obviously being on the gib, um, just want to make sure everything is up to date every single day. Um, and especially seeing as we've got a slightly leaking diff pinion seal. Um, I haven't had the chance to replace that yet because it's only just weeping. So I'll kind of wait to do that. But just make sure we've got some oil in the diff and make sure we're not losing too much. And it's completely full, which is good. And now we'll just go through and check the trans and the transfer case. A bit different tonight, aren't we? Yeah, we're having two dinners. We're having beef brisket burgers, which aren't uncommon. Yep. But also, what are we having? Hold on. Pizza. We had one leftover ball of dough and... Don't get my feet in it. <laughs> Sorry, I did. One burger isn't really filling us up much, especially after... Oh, look at that backdrop. Hold on. Stunning. It's not really filling us up much, especially after a big day, so... And if you haven't got onto this at home or on the road or whatever you're doing, get on mm, this brisket. It's, if you haven't noticed... You put them in a little black bag and then quick reheat yeah, them in there. Every oh, second week, gold. every second week we're having beef brisket. It's just really perfect. Delicious. All right, we'll uh, have an early night and we'll see you in the morning. Bright and early again. <laughs> well, good morning. Another early morning. Um, had about an hour's drive. Out to, <laughs> it's just I've walking over. over We've just started. Um, yeah, about an hour's drive out to our hike location today, and we're going to Bell Gorge. Getting so much more tropical now. We've got the palms coming through. I love it. Gorge. That was such an easy walk in. Yeah, like 800 meters. And how many minutes? Mm, 12, because we've got the dogs in the car, a bit of a sneaky, sneaky. So we're trying to go really fast. Um, yeah, now we're going to head to the upward. It's The one we're at just before was the upper gorge. Now we've come down to the lower gorge. Because it's lower. It's Makes really sense. Easy hike. 21 minutes so far. Yeah. Socks are already wet, mate, so it'll go in. Yeah, we'll just say it's putting it back on. Nice. Walked on the edge, bloody daredevil. <laughs> so nice. Now, I know this is the uh, most popular one on the Gib, Bell Gorge, but you can see why. It is absolutely beautiful. It's such a quick walk, isn't it? Yeah. Are they... rock clambering. But like it's one of those ones that national parks just it exaggerates the time for yeah. it. So they say allow two hours and what are we? We're just over an hour now. I'm almost back, so. Yeah, walking time is probably only half an hour so far. Yeah, we stop for photos and everything. But um yeah, this is probably, especially if you don't have dogs, somewhere that you can just come and chill out for the whole day. Yep. The water is not even cold. And get here early in the morning, well the first one's there, and you get it mostly to yourself. It's about 20 past eight, and there's only two other people down there at the moment. So if you get here before everyone else, go down there and chill out for a couple hours. So we have had the noodle dream and we need to stop for a quick snack before we start our next hike. So we've got some noodles on and uh, then we've got Adcock Gorge next. So we'll uh, take the dogs in with that one. Some crocodiles in there apparently, so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful, but uh, nonetheless should be a good little dip.
So I keep writing, Mac. Good boy, nice writing. Up. Okay, stop, stop. Killer, okay, well, you right there, please. Go right for mum. <laughs> the dogs are a bit slip faced, so I've got to give them a hand. All right, just wait. So we are now at uh, Dalvin Scored. Up the road. And Beautiful. Bit busier. Bit busier, <laughs> yeah. I think this one's prettier than Adcock. Yeah. Adcock's going down as our favourite so far. Yeah. But this one, the dogs are out again and it's just gorgeous. Look at the vibe on top of the hill. It just makes it. Thank you, Greater. Not bad. <laughs> the whole Gibbs been good. Obviously, it's in great condition at the moment, but we love fresh grade. We are. I think it worked with uh, tucking her out. <laughs> like he's asleep. Like he is. <laughs> Stopped in out Mount Barnet Roadhouse and we've missed lunch by five minutes. So we don't get chicken burger, but they still did hot chips for us. So we are going to come back tomorrow and do the chicken burger because it's supposed to be the tits. Um, but fantastic here, so you pay for your Manning Gorge camp pass and access here as well, so that's $50, um, so $20 for the pass, $30 for camping, um, and then yeah, your second night or every night after that is just $30 on top of that if you want to do that, but we'll probably only do the one night, but um, yeah, fuel is two ninety three here, not too bad, um, and free water fill up, potable water and everything, so we'll do that, and I'm overflowing, so I'll sort that over. First thing is a swim. Yeah, it's <laughs> early. But they've got little of these little container things you can use, which are great. Yeah. Chuck all your gear in. Good. Where are we? You haven't told them. Uh, Men in Gorge. Ah, uh, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> With all of our stuff. <laughs> Every time. Doesn't, yep, come undone yet. doesn't listen to me about the double knots. Did you double knot them now? No, I double knot them. Oh, good. They're full of water. Same. All I know, I got lost along the way. Fell between the fall. Pulling stitches. Time to let go. So come what may. Have a toast for those lost old eyes And my crooked little heart That seems so rebellious Is falling apart Right now I'm bleeding An easy kill Don't leave it all behind I think it's time
we have got a burger. We had to come back. Could not miss out on their burgers because they're really good. And we're hungry after our hike, so let's dig in. <laughs> not bad? Not so good. That's a thick smitty. That's a good. Kills I haven't checked yet. <laughs> Alright, let's get Loki out, shall we? There to get you out. <laughs> we go in the front. Oh, let me take this off first. In the front. Okay. Like 30 centimetres of water here, it's just perfect to sit in and cool off it. And excuse my sick voice right now. Yeah, you picked the places to get sick. I didn't sick. think I'd get sick in 35 degree heat. But, oh, doesn't get much more of a river front. So nice. Hopefully, no crocodiles. Dogs, magic carpet ride. <laughs> on you go. On you go. On the magic carpet. Go on. So, in addition to uh, making sure all of our oils are up to scratch every day, just uh, simple things like blowing your air filter out every day as well. It's pretty dirty, hey? Yeah, it doesn't take much. So, yeah, just daily we've just got the air compressor and we'll just give that a bit of a blow out. So, we didn't give you a, a recap of basically what we've done today. So, Manning Gorge, first up this morning, we started that super early because the dogs had to stay in the car. Um, and that was amazing again got the whole thing to ourselves i mean that's one of the good things about actually having dogs it's pushing us to wake up super early before anyone else and get these hikes done and we had it to ourselves for at least half an hour and then got back basically what time did we get back like 8 30. uh yeah um from there we basically moved on to barnett gorge um quite underwhelming to be honest dogs could come with us on that one but it was um severely undersigned um there was a couple rock stacks to follow but the whole thing was very hard to follow um so yeah we turned back halfway through that one just because it was getting too hot in the day and we and the dogs were struggling a little bit and we've pulled into the beautiful camp that pretty much brings us to the uh midway through the gib so we're gonna stop this first part of the video here um Obviously some highlights, Bell Gorge got to go to, amazing. Manning Gorge, probably just even better or on par. Um, and in terms of doing stuff with the dogs, Adcock Gorge, absolutely amazing. We could have stayed there for hours um, and the road in is a little bit hairy, um, but the gorge itself is absolutely beautiful. And yeah, I reckon Adcock's gonna go down as our, as our highlight for now, so yeah. Stay tuned next week as we hit the second half of the gib. So thanks so much for coming along and we'll see you then.